Let's uh, continue this conversation now and look at uh, the developments around CCTV cameras and the fact that they'll be ramped up in the province. This is in an effort to bring down crime levels in the province. So let's see how all the me mechanisms are going to be working because the city of Johannesburg is one of those cities that will then, in fact, is already um, implementing this. And we speak now to Dr. Mkini Chwaku, who's the city of Joburg's public safety, MMC. MMC, thank you so much for your time. So yesterday... We were in conversation with the Premier. I'm sure you saw that particular conversation. But you then are saying that this is a spectacle and you're calling it nothing short of a theatrical diversion. Why? Look, I, when he says that he's, he's, got, he's rolling out he's not the 6,000 cameras, those six cameras, and then he says he's signing a service level agreement with the guys from Fumakem. Fumakem has got 7,500 cameras already available anyway, already. So he's not rolling them out. Actually, it's a, it's a service level agreement with the guys just that you need to just plug and play, of which now is what is happening to us. Like last year, when I, I was deployed by the Economic Freedom Fighters in the Public Safety Department, one of the key uh, performance or key uh, uh, manifesto commitments that uh, was under the EFF was to say that we must fight crime by any means possible. One of them was to use, um, you know, uh, the technology, which was the cameras with artificial intelligence that can, and also the number plate reading. And we found that when we got there, is that it's going to take us a long time because we don't have the budget. And then we said, okay, let us call Vumakem, because Vumakem has got a lot of cameras uh, spanning through Bruma, uh, Santin, everywhere. So we can actually ask them to sign a several level agreement with them. And we did sign them last year around February, March, and we are having them operating currently at the at the at the JMPD. We've got what is called an IIOC. It's a directorate on its own. It's a camera unit. Um, we were having 585 that yeah. were operating around the city, but now with the plug-in of the Vumakem, Vumakem is operational there. It is there operational. We can see we have recovered so many cars and all of the same living equipment that is actually running. So. What I was saying to, to him, why do you repeat the same thing? Because we've got it happening. We've got it there already. It, it is there. So um, It is running, you know. Um, and, and the only thing that we need to do now is um, we've just signed now a new contract with another company that we want to roll now these cameras in the townships because Vumakem is limited in, 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 in these townships. So, so we are waiting on that. I'm, I'm yeah. going to get to that in just a moment. I don't want this point okay. to be lost. I, I heard you say something very interesting because you're saying that there is an SLA and all of that. But yesterday he did say that the cameras are already working. He's taking them from different entities. He's taking them from Sandral, taking them from the company you are mentioning and various others in order now to create a centralized um, you know, unit that is going to look at this from a provincial perspective. It, it sounds like you're doubting that. No, it's it's there already. We've got cameras for the city, Vumakem. We're also talking to the other stakeholders within the, the city. Uh, you know, we've got the, the, the cameras which are operating uh, in a private space because we've got the, the, the We've got the capability of a response. Yeah. Uh, look, we've just launched now a JMP technical unit. We've got members on the ground. We've got cars. We've got all the, the, the you know, these resources that they need so that they can, you know, they, they can be able, you know, to respond. So can, you then, we, can you then feed into this provincial um, command center that the, 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 the government is saying that they want to now build in, in to have in the city, in fact, in Gauteng, in the province? Can you feed into that then from the work that you've been doing? Is that a possibility? Look, Look, we, we don't have any issues. The problem one with the premier is that uh, you know he's a bully and uh, also he's a he likes to play some politics and all of that. You know what I found yesterday? Mm -hmm. You know what I found? Mm -hmm. This guy actually he can be charged with what he did. By the way, we found out his staff. He took some of his staff there and put them in the IOC of the public safety without going through the mayor, without going through the the, the city manager without also even engaging with the office of the MMC. He just parachuted himself, entered the building of the public safety. We found his traffic, uh, the, the, the traffic police in there, and then also his crime prevention wardens. We have invited them by what qualifications are they having. They were operating our cameras. And I asked, what nonsense is this? 
So, so that is why I'm saying that the, 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 the problem with him is that he, he, he operates clandestinely. I don't have a problem to have a collaboration, but he thinks that he's some big brother that can you know, work and everything. But whatever, whatever he's trying to really do is that we have done it. What we want from them, for, from him, Bongi, and that's why maybe I, I need to take it out there, is that we want a cooperation from him. He's owing us. He's owing us things. And he doesn't want to actually know his, his government is owing us a lot of a, a, a license that we have to do for our, uh, uh, you know, for our, our department, the EMS. Okay. And guess what? Another thing that you must, you must ask him, mm. why is, why, why is MECMZ has refused to release 199,000 to fix Lillian Goy? They come and say that we're incompetent, but his government is not cooperating with the city and especially with the with the department of public safety that is you know that it's led by deploy from the eff they are trying to sabotage a, this department every time we submitted a report to say M uh, premier and mmc msmz here is the cost to fix lillian goy they rejected it they said no go back we're not going to release the money it's with them and secondly we've got ambulances 55 ambulances won't be, 55 lusufi is refusing to give the public safety license to operate. And guess what? We found out again that through his clandestine and thug behavior, he's using our call center, our radio room, to, to, to really, uh, as an emergency. We don't have a okay. problem with that. But what I'm trying to say is that he's got, he's got an underground tactics that, you know, that he's using to really tap into, uh, uh, you know, All his, right. breaking the, the IGR. MMC, uh, so, so these allegations we need to put to the Premier, and, 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 and I think, like I've been saying, maybe the two of you should be in one conversation, in actual fact, for us oh. to get an understanding here. But let's go back to this IOC, right, because I don't yeah. want us to lose that point. This IOC, is, sure. is it the command centre? Sure. Is it the command centre? Yes, yeah, it's called... It's IIOC, Integrated Intelligence Operating Center. So you it's are a claiming, department on its own. Okay. So yeah. you are claiming that this command center has now been taken over by the crime wardens that you and I were talking about at some point that were supposed to be on the, on the roads, right? Yeah. So yeah. They, what, they they that we what function are they performing? I, I don't know. That's why I asked the HOD, but... Who are these people here? I don't know whether he, he brought them for training, what service agreement that is there. But when I asked the HOD, he says, look, uh, the, the, the province came, to, they, they came during uh, December holidays, uh, around December, to, to, to ask to see how does this IOC work, IOC work, you know. But we said that HOD said to me that they, they need to go back and put up a proposal and the same level of agreement is what exactly they want to, to actually do. Because the IIOC center, it has been commercialized as a service delivery center. It's operational. It's a unit on its own. It can see burning buildings. We've seen burning buildings with it. We've seen potholes. We've seen uh, water leakages. We've seen crime that has been committed in the city. It's a whole function of the camera unit. And it's functional and it's working. We've been plugging in. That's why we had to plug in Vumacam. Now we've got close to 8,000 cameras we can see and follow. And we've got a lot of steps which is happening. So what he was doing that is trying to, to, to really plug it out, taking out the, the whole concept, uh, trying to amass it into the province. And then we've seen that he's been putting his own people. And we said, but who are these people? What, what do they seek to really achieve? Why, why, is, why is the premier, he can't just be a man? Or maybe he just comes and said, has a meeting with us. This is what, guys, we want to do. We've seen that you are doing it. And we open up so that we can see what so we can do. So you haven't had a meeting. We you didn't have him. a meeting in we the never, after this. None whatsoever. He just, he, he just pronounces, the, I see his people in my department. He never spoken to me. Uh, you know, he's, and the same thing that he wants to do, Bongi, he can do it. The IROC stand up. It was, concept, it was conceptualized to house in uh, SEPs, to house in crime, uh, uh, to, you know, the, the province. Uh, when you listen to General Mawela, before he left, he said, look at, look at, I'll send you a clip. He said, MMC Chuagu, there was a, a, something that we were working on, an integrated approach to crime combating, by law enforcement, and service delivery. It was an IIOC center, which is, yes, it's working right now. They were supposed to be deploying people 
to the IOC center, the province deploys, uh, a, 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 a police deploys, um, a, a JMPD deploys, so that we can have a joint operation center to combat crime. So why is All one right. to replicate for the province? It's there already. We've got the software is there. You don't have to repeat something else. That's why I'm saying that he just have to come to a, a superior logic, a, a deploy of the EFF, okay. and ask how these things are done. We will we will share with him uh, with 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 actually is, but he must not come to a back okay. door. That's what actually made us very angry. Is that he does not communicate. He's playing politics. Even this nasty span. To be honest with you, talk to uh, if I'm allowed. O -O MMC Kane, he has been talking to his administrators to check how many potholes that uh, are in, in the city so that he can allocate these people of Nazi span. Okay. He's hiring people. Okay. He does not have he does not have a job for the people that he's hiring. So he's talking to our administrators, Kleinstein, and making deals with them All behind right. our back. MMC, uh, yeah, these are serious allegations that you're making. So we have to reach out to the office of the premier to also get answers. Um, you know, some of these that you've mentioned here really just do need, in fact, a lot of them do yes. need um, responses. But let me thank you so much for your time. Um, I do appreciate it. That was uh, Dr. Mkini Chwako, the city of Johannesburg's public safety MMC. Yeah, we will um, chase the, the province uh, to be able to get their response to this lit litany of allegations that have been made, particularly when it comes to this situation of the command center and also at the same time various others when it comes to what's going on exactly in the city of Johannesburg.